Cliff, tough taxing game given the circumstances of the weekend. How has everybody come through that one? Yeah, really well, really well. It was a good challenge for the players, good challenge for the staff on the sideline as well. Um, but the, the players, but the the second plan of action in once we were dealt uh, the, the cards, we were dealt, so to speak, by the referee, and then we we quickly moved on and still felt we had enough to win the game. I was how pleased were you with the overall performance? It asked so much so many different things particularly in that first half but then getting back on the front foot in the second half and really taking the game to Milton Keynes yeah it did it did it's always a challenge when you know if you play against 10 men or you go down to 10 men but I have to say the the information that come on from the manager and, and how the players then went and put that into in the practice really and because although we, we knew we were a man down we also knew we still wanted to win the game um, so it was important to manage key moments in the game and I, I, I thought the players that were on the pitch and then the players that came on as well, you know, the whole group was excellent. Did everybody come through it okay? Yeah, yeah, everybody's fine, yeah, so pleased with that as well. Attention now turns back to the Bristol Street Motors Trophy, Manchester United under 21s up next in this one. Your thoughts on, on this game as a, as a test? Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, bring different challenges, different tests, uh, very, very good team, uh, progressive team. You know, developing all the time under a, a good management there, and at, a, at an excellent football club. So we know, we know we'll have uh, plenty to deal with come Tuesday. How easy or, or difficult is it to, to prepare for a game like this? Um, you know, it, it's not easy or difficult. Like I said, the, the games bring different challenges for various reasons. Um, we've seen plenty of the opposition. You know, they've obviously played a, a game in the, in the competition already. We've we've had other games watched as I'm sure they will have done us. So you're still doing your due diligence on the opposition and you know the focus of us has always been and always will be under the manager about what we're capable of and how what we're going to do. So uh, but we will be mindful of what they're capable of as well. Potentially a player on the pitch for the opposition that you know an awful lot about in Tommy Rowe with the role that he's now got with Man United under 21s. How pleased are you first of all for him to get uh, that, that position as he looks to develop his coaching career? Yeah, listen, Tommy's a, Tommy's an excellent person first and foremost and you know I had the, the pleasure of working with him over two separate occasions at the football club and you know I, I spoke without going into too much detail. Um, Travis obviously done his homework on, on players he wanted to bring in and, and we shared a phone call and you know I'm delighted that, that they've decided Rowie is that fifth for them because I think he will bring an awful lot around the building first and foremost and you know, obviously he feels he can still uh, contribute on the grass as well. So, you know, for him on a personal level, really pleased for him and his family. He'll certainly set a, a good standard out on the pitch with, with the ability he brings and, and the commitment that he's got in the game. He does, yeah. We benefited from that. This football club has benefited from that for, for a, a great number of years. Um, irrespective of, of results or performances or, or whatever table the football club is in, Tommy, you know, he, he had them, them high standards and he, he, he pushed everyone at this football club and I'm sure they'll do the same now. You're confident he's got a lot to offer as he moves into that, that direction? Yeah, listen, c confident in as much as he's a, his appetite to go and do it. He's going to be in a learning environment now where things change when you go from playing to coaching. You're not only responsible for yourself anymore, you're responsible for a group of people, um, or a group of personalities, both staff, playing staff and non-playing staff. So. You know he's going to have to navigate his way through them waters as he goes, but I'm sure he's excited to do it. This competition can be a learning environment for for us as well. We saw Casper Williams getting some game time last time, potentially getting some more in in, in this one. How pleased have you been with the, with the progress that Casper's shown since pre-season, really, when he was involved so heavily? Yeah, it's, he's, he's been really really progressive. Um, he got an opportunity in the pre-season games. And that's what we always say to the younger pros or the, the younger boys um, when they're coming through. Be ready for when the opportunity comes because it's it's always difficult to pinpoint when it comes. But he's certainly um, shown us what he's capable of. We're really pleased with him. Uh, more so, we're pleased with what we believe is, is still yet to come. And like you say, he's, he's had minutes in the first team. He he trains an awful lot with the group, so he's he's experienced the the standards, the the intensities that maybe cannot be mirrored in the under 18s football so he's, he's, he's coping with them and um, at times he's excelling really well and other times he, he needs the help and the support of the coaching staff and that's what we're here for to keep pushing him to the potential he can reach. Given your background how much do you enjoy working with young centre-halves? 
yeah it, it's it's good it's good um it's good to be able to share the the experiences really um but also the with how center halves are being asked to play compared to how i was asked when i was playing that the game has moved on an awful lot and it's it's been open to their interpretation of the game as well and seeing how they see it being played of course you, you want to guide them and sometimes you need to be forceful with your direction with them but you know pleasingly for us the, the group of centre backs we have at this football club have good personality on their own and have a good idea of how they want to impose their personality and then it's their job then to guide them through that and give them the platform to show what they can do. Sam Strong Brown as well yeah. getting some game time in the, in the previous game how pleased have you been with him he's, he's, he's had that taste of first team football last season took a little bit of step back if, if that's how you want to turn it into the 18s but he's been absolutely flying at the start of this season at that level yeah at, at the under 18 level Sam's been doing doing really well and in terms of a step back it's you know it was well noted last year that in terms of numbers that we had available um, we didn't always have high numbers of players available and Sam got an opportunity and we were really really pleased with him and he, he came in and really showed everyone at the football club what what a lot of the academy staff believed he would be capable of and, and us as a force team then see it as well so in terms of his game time we don't have an under 21s team so his game time is either force team or under 18s football at the moment and he's he's shown no hang up or hang over whichever group he's training with whichever team he's playing with he's he's got a, a good number of goals under his belt already so he's adding that t to his game as well so you know it's up to us as coaches to keep finding the challenges for these young players, whether it's within 18s football, training with the force team or getting minutes with the force team. Do you, do you look for that kind of reaction, see how, how they cope with you know, going back to the 18s group and that being the focus, in, in, certainly in terms of the game time and what, what they can deliver when they're out on the pitch? Yeah, we, listen, we don't set up deliberately to, to go and, and look for it, but it, it is, we do observe to see how they do react because it is important that emotionally they, they can control their emotions and again we don't expect them to get it right all the time you know there's going to be times where they, emotionally they, they get over excited or they get upset or they get frustrated um, with all the players across the group so we, you almost have to let them feel that emotion as well and and then we guide them in but in, in terms of Sam's um, emotions across the two groups has been really good the, the, the level of discipline and, and attitude towards his job whatever he's been asked to do in, in that midfield role has been excellent no real opportunity to with this game to kind of cement your place in, in the knockout stages that's obviously a bit, you want to win every game but a driving factor it gives you that breathing space come that final group game in, in a couple of weeks time yeah listen you know the the, the game is tomorrow the, that's the game we're focusing on to perform and win and um, what happens beyond that is we won't look too far so no you're right we we do we do want to progress in the competition and you know the, the aim is to go and win the game but <laughs> we've got a very strong outfit on the Travis that's that's aiming to win the game from their point of view so you know we're not no no illusions as to how difficult a game can be but also we're uh, excited and looking forward to it